Do you understand English but can't speak? Why is it so? You have studied all the ins and outs of grammar. You are also good at writing essays and stories. When you watch English movies and shows or when you listen to English podcasts, you understand everything, but why can't you speak English yet? Congratulations because this is it. You're on the right video, so watch till the end. Hello, I'm Aubrey. Welcome to my channel and let's learn English. You understand English well, but when it's time to speak the language, why are you losing on your track? When you talk to someone in English, you start to get confused. You know what to answer, but you can't construct it quickly in your mind, so you're just dumbfounded. This video has two parts. First, I will give you the reasons why they happen, and second, I will share with you the ways so that you can speak English. Let's get started. Why do you understand English but can't speak it? Here are the reasons. First, English is not your mother tongue. It applies to everyone who doesn't speak English as a first language. It's a given thing, a natural scenario. So don't put pressure on yourself. Don't be too harsh on yourself when trying to speak English. Imagine it's not your native language. At home, at school, or even at work, it's natural that there are terms you don't know or that are already on the tip of your tongue, but you can't say them. Everyone goes through that. Be gentle and considerate of yourself. Second, you don't have enough vocabulary words. You have many ideas you want to express, but because the English words you know are limited, you certainly cannot express them clearly and properly. Third, you don't have enough time to construct English sentences in your mind because you are talking in real time. Did you know that speaking is very different from reading, writing, or listening to English content? Listening and reading are called passive skills, where when you do them, you are free to stop and think more. You have time to understand and correct what you have heard, and you still have time to search what the meaning is when you read an unfamiliar word. You also had a lot of time to compose sentences in your mind. Unlike when you are going to speak, it's a different skill that needs a lot of active ingredients, including your voice, your confidence, your spontaneity, and real-time reasoning to answer the person you are talking to. This is where the next one comes in. Number four, nervousness will consume you and kill you or you will have a mental block. This is where many language learners sadly end up. They fail to speak English because they're being mentally blocked. It mainly happens for you are not ready and your knowledge is not enough to make your speaking opportunity at its best. This sometimes leads to total discouragement to keep learning and keep practicing your speaking. But please, understand that it's part of the process. Number five, you don't always do it. Of course, when you don't always speak using the English language, your brain is not trained to think in English and to speak in English. Remember that when you are not used to doing something, it will be really difficult to do it properly and effectively. Now, let's find out the ways so that you can speak English. Here are the ways to speak English. First, Work on your listening skills. Listening can help a lot for you to speak English. Through this, you will learn new words, expressions, and phrases in English, even ways to answer the person you are talking to. Also, by listening, the correct pronunciation of new words will become clearer to you. Even the rise and the fall of the tone when it is pronounced and even the familiarity with the sound of English language, you will know everything because you listened. The question is, which things should you listen to? Start with short video clips, either on television or here on YouTube. Look for which you want to listen to and learn the way they speak English and repeat until you learn it. Listening to English podcasts will also help a lot. Various topics interest you that you can listen to, which will help you further in your English speaking journey. Don't forget to listen to audiobooks. Of course, 
listen to more real-life English conversations to your classmates, co-workers talking in English, to your teacher lecturing in English. Through working on your listening skills, you'll help yourself to perceive English and its elements in a more meaningful way. Second, imitation to improve your speaking skills. After you have trained yourself to listen to English conversations or anything in English, try doing imitation or imitating what you heard. This is effective because just look at the children. Don't they learn by imitating the adults who talk to them? By imitating the opening of the mouth of the speaker, their mouth and tongue become more accustomed to speaking. In this part, even if you don't learn the ins and outs of grammar, you will become familiar with the correct structure of words in English, including the proper sentence formation and useful phrases. How can you do this? Choose a video or audio clip to listen to and imitate. Listen to it carefully and very well. Stop for a moment and speak. Record yourself. Listen again. Try to compare what you imitated to see if they're already the same. Note the parts that you still need to work out so you can imitate better the audio material. If not, just do it again until you are satisfied. Third, self-evaluation. Some of you may be asking, what if I can't talk to anyone in English? There is no problem because you can talk to yourself through this self-evaluation technique. How to do it? Through self-evaluation, you will begin to reflect or think about what you learned, the way you learned it, what other ways you could have done it, and things you should change to improve your English language learning journey. Here are questions you can ask yourself to do the self-evaluation. Did you understand what you read, watch, or speak with? Did you feel comfortable with the way you responded to that person you were talking to? Are you able to answer your talking partner's questions immediately? Can you quickly form the sentences to answer the person you are talking to? And have you encountered any unfamiliar words? How did you try to understand that? As for listening, here are the self-evaluation questions you can ask yourself. Can you summarize what you heard using your own words? What message did you understand from the material you've listened to? Can you use the words in the sentence to better understand what it wants to convey even without using a dictionary? Let's now proceed to number four. Join an English-speaking community. Through this, you will have more motivation to keep speaking English because you will find yourself with others who also want to learn just like you. Nowadays, there are so many online forums and discussion groups that focus on learning when it comes to English speaking. By joining groups like this, you will meet fellow students who want to learn English from different countries. You will find many of these kinds on Facebook, Reddit, and Discord websites. But remember, when joining online forums and discussion groups, let's prioritize our online safety so we don't get hurt. Number five, prepare. Most of us are hesitant to speak and communicate using the English language because we are unsure of what we should say. We really become advanced to think about our mistakes when we talk, but don't you worry because that's easy. We just need to be prepared or ready for the situation where we will communicate using the English language. Think of situations where you need to communicate in English. For example, you go to a hotel for vacation, think about the situations you will face when you arrive at that place. Let's say you talk to the receptionist or call over the phone to ask for assistance in your room. You can prepare sentences or phrases that you can use when you face them. What is the vocabulary needed when you are there? You can prepare all that in a notebook. Think of a situation and the useful phrases you can use once you're there. Example, hello, we've booked a room for our family vacation. Remember, it's always better to be prepared. And last tip, practice and speak more. Theory alone will not help you speak, just like in driving. Even if you study all the theories and laws in driving without application, all of them will be useless. So yes, you heard it right. It sounds simple, but when you apply it, it is really challenging because no matter what you learn about the ins and outs of English, 
If you don't apply it to speaking, your dream of speaking English will remain only in your imagination. Grab every opportunity to speak English. Did you know that there is no magic or medicine to make you speak English? You need to put yourself in situations where you will be forced to speak English. Small steps will still help you to be better at it. If you are at school, at work, or a restaurant and need to communicate and answer using the English language, then grab that chance. You can also join English language courses so that you are more obliged to speak or you can also use the so-called mobile applications powered by artificial intelligence that will help you speak English even at the comfort of your own home. One of them is the Elsa Speak app. I discussed in one of my videos how to use that. You can click the link above to find out. So again, no matter if you speak with a native speaker or with a non-native speaker, for as long as you'll have the chance to speak and talk using English language, then please grab that opportunity to speak and practice the language. Now, you know why you understand English but can't speak it. Start following the methods I have taught you to learn to speak English. Let's always remember that there is no easy thing in this world. We have to put extra effort to succeed in whichever path we'd like to engage ourselves in. If you learned something, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you are always updated every time I have newly uploaded videos. I hope that what I shared with you was helpful and if you want to know or learn more or if you have a topic suggestion don't hesitate to share them in our comments section below thank you so much for learning english with me till my next one bye